Hey everybody, this is Greg with Mental Strength Salapia. I know I haven't been online for a long time, um, and I apologize for that, but it's been so busy in here. Uh, I guess what I'll do is just walk you through the hatchery today. As you can see, I've got one good sized female back there in the back, as soon as everybody gets out of the way here. Right there, she's holding out of these five females in here. There's four females in here, and I've got one holding, I'm sorry, one holding there, one holding here, and one holding right in back of the pipes that are coming out. Um, these are big, older breeders, and they don't breed often, but when they do breed, they have a lot of babies. You can see this big old female. She's right at, I don't know, 11, 12 inches long, and these females, um, are not quite that big but still large females um, got one female in here holding it's that little one right there uh, she doesn't have a lot of babies but she's only about three and a half inches long have one female holding in here she's going to be ready to harvest in two days um, you can see her her chins look distended she's got she's got some babies in there got niles who I've got one female right there who's holding and one female back there behind the pipes. You can just see her head sticking up. She's got a mouthful of eggs too. Um, as far as fry, you know, I've got four or five hundred in this tank, two or three hundred in here, a couple hundred in here. Um, come over on this side, you know, probably 250 to 300 behind the filter there. I've got fry down here, fry in here, fry in this 29, and more fry over here, and more fry in this tank, and then down below, fry in this tank. So, uh, you know, I've got a lot of fry, got a lot of fish holding. Seven, I think, no, eight total. Um, this one will probably have the most. She comes out on the 19th, I think the 18th or the 19th, I'll harvest her. But she's got a good mouthful. And it's just been super busy this spring. I've probably shipped out about 14,000 fish right now. Uh, I'm going to do a you know, a lot of people are asking me, well, my blue tilapia aren't blue. Well, a lot of mine aren't blue either. My males are never blue. They're always this pink and black trim color of that fish right there. That's my male in that tank. That's my, This is my male in this tank. Um, you know, these fish, and I'll talk more about chromatophores next week and why the color changes. You know, I still have fish that... that are different colors. There's a there's a the male and a female holding that are uh, similar in color. Here's a male that's or a female that's holding that's that's rather large, but she's a lot darker than the other ones. I call her blackie. You know, I have I have some fish that are big like this that are black, and I have there's the male. He's always that color. He doesn't change much anymore. Uh, I have every color you can imagine. This this female over here who's holding, you can see how dark black she is. Dark blue, dark black, whatever you want to call it. Well, there's the male right behind her. They're all blue tilapia, but they all carry different colors. Here's the other females in here. She's all striped up. This one's plain on the side, um, but still just, a, still just a blue. Every blue with the chromatophores that these fish have, they like to take on the colors that are prevalent around the tank. Not all of them do it, not every time. They change colors all the time. The males usually stay the same, a pinkish hue with black trimmed fins, um, you know, when they're in breeding mode, and they always seem to be in breeding mode. But anyway, I just wanted to show you a little bit about what was going on in here. Uh, it's just a lot of fish, a lot of work. Um, I'm trying to find somebody to help me out over here, but 
you know, I'm not to the point where I can hire anybody yet, but I'm doing everything I can to to get some help in here and get all these fish taken care of. But anyway, just want to show you where I was at and tell you that I'll get back to it here eventually. Things are starting to slow a little bit. The spring was unbelievably busy. I don't know how many boxes we shipped out, but 13,000 would be, I don't know, 350 boxes, 14,000, you know, it's the most I can ship in a box is 50 fingerlings and 100 fry, so, you know, you can divide that out yourself. There's, there's a lot of fish go out. I get a lot of orders for 20 and 50 and 30 and everything else, so. But anyway, that's what I've got going in here right now. Um, I will keep you all updated and get, get on some more informational videos that will help you out a little bit. So, I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.